Another bid for both Mathis Delete and Nusail Mazrawi is about to go in. Man United has assured Bayern Munich. Welcome to the United Hot Sport. Is it deal week? Well, let's wait and see. But I'm here to give you the latest that has just come through concerning these two players that United is waiting to bring in. But is getting it's quite a number of issues with the current owner of the players again my name is webb welcome aboard let's get into it now uh the latest that has come in is that man united is not done with both nusail mazrawi and mathis delete despite bayern munich trying to make it uh, so difficult for united to get the two players well the latest is united has assured both the players and bayern that they are putting themselves together to return with another double bid for these two now remember uh, i think uh it, it, it was almost looking like Man United were trying to separate the two uh, bids to try and now move for Nusayo Mazrawi alone. But I think on hindsight, they thought about it and said it will be easier indeed to negotiate for both of them as a, a pair, as a, as a pair. And indeed, that's what they are trying to do. So uh, they assured the two players who have been probably running out of patience that United is coming back with another bid that they hope this time Bayern Munich will uh, accept because they have been uh, trapped in talks in verbal conversations about the players uh, lately they have spent time uh, talking about the players and uh, how much value uh, united sees they are worth how much bayern wants and everything they have spoken and discussed the details probably to the t and it's time now to move in with another bid hoping that this time around there won't be any more you know rejections and back and forth so that both teams save the time which they don't have in plenty so that's what you should expect so uh today i think uh, later in the day today we should be seeing a, bit, a, a, a another bid going in uh, probably uh, you know differently structured i don't expect united to increase it so much uh, uh, from uh, what they had offered in the first place for the two uh, probably uh, an extra five or at most 10 million will be added on and uh, this should be enough to get Bayern convinced and uh, ready to let go of these uh, two players that Man United definitely are desperate to have. Remember, it's five days to the Community Shield and uh, it's an important, important period. The preparations have got to be intense now. We expect Lisandro Martinez today to be arriving for training at, uh, at, at Carrington. We expect Kobe Maino uh, in the coming days tomorrow, the day after at, at most. So it's going to be a critical week for Man United and their preparations for the new season. Of course, uh, the patterns have been worked on, but it's not with the personalities that they want to see. Uh, play of course most of the games for Man United so it's going to be so important to expedite deals so that by the time we get to Sunday quite a number of players are in and there is no excuse as we start the new season so a critical and important week for Manchester United this just like it is for several other clubs now uh, the, uh, the, 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 the the new bid that will go in will certainly uh, also have an, uh, an, an, an impact on when Man United will move and uh, go for Manuel Ugarte because uh, like I've been telling you it is not always uh, right for players for, for, for clubs to, uh, to 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 go into seal deals to try to chase deals for several players at a go uh, you can make mistakes like I keep saying it's a critical critical uh, you know time of the transfer window this especially this week knowing that we're just week now uh, two weeks away uh, or even less uh, from the start of the new season it's a critical period. So we actually, we are 11 days away from the start of the new season. So it's a critical period. You don't want to come out and try to swallow so much. Uh, you, you need to do one deal at a time. So the Manuel Ugate deal as well is what is, is something United is still following. But they first wanted to get uh, over and done with this whole centre-back issue. So that they then focus on Manuel Ugate, who and and maybe Osofia Namrabat, but Ugate is the harder part, who will be probably the last piece of business Man United will do in this summer so it's uh, going to be one of those weeks we we'll try to make fast we we'll want to quicken it a bit so that we, we don't waste a lot of time uh to to, to, to uh, th that will affect our preparations uh for the for, for the new season so it's uh it's, it's really interesting to see how all things are going to unfold but i did post uh a question uh on youtube uh, of course uh, yesterday asking you people in your view uh whether you think uh, how much you think uh Mathis delete and uh and uh, uh and this man uh, are worth how much do you think uh is uh Mathis delete and Nusel Mazrawi 
worth? How much can Man Manchester United pay for them? I, I just wanted to get to pick your mind on, uh, on, on what you think. How much do you think Manchester United can, should pay for, for Mathis Dilit and uh, Nusal Mazrawi, the two of them? Now, here is the interesting bit uh, be, uh, for, for Dilit himself, rather, for Dilit alone. How much do you think Man United should be willing to pay? And 55% uh, of you people are saying he's worth between 35 to 50 million euros. That we can pay. Remember, Man United were initially not willing to pay anything beyond 35 million euros, but Bayern has made it impossible. Now, 35 to 50 is what many of you are saying. 55% of 104 votes. And then uh, 25 to 35 million is 29% of, of the votes. 11% are saying any amount, just get him. Some of you are just desperate to get him. You don't care if you're ripped off, just bring the guy. Then over 50 million, 6% uh, of you think so. So I think what this for me shows me is that people believe Mathis Delete is the right player for Man United to, to bring in as a center back. For Nusal Mazraoui, his, his part is a bit obvious. Of course, he's added to the Delete a deal because they've got the same agent, they're in the same club. Uh, but uh, his move is, is quite obvious. Sell one Bisaka, which is going to happen this week, get that money, pay for him. So adding him to the delete deal is to try and give us a negotiating ability or a, a negotiating advantage, rather, uh, which is not entirely working. So United might be forced to separate the two uh, because Bayern are also keeping their guards up. They see what, you, what United are trying to do. But uh, the, the point is, your people, uh, you all see that, you know, we need, we need to bring in Mathis Delete. I don't know why, where our confidence is. I don't know whether the confidence is in what he has done before. Uh, but the reality is he hasn't played top-level football for quite some time. And uh, that could be an impediment. But I do believe that by the time United are stuck on him like that, they know that he can do or deliver to the expectations they have. So it's, a, it's, it, it's an evolving uh, transfer, but this should be the week where it gets intense and where it gets over the line. We cannot, again, spend another week going back and forth on a player with whom personal terms were, agrees, uh, were agreed uh, days ago, weeks ago. We cannot just you know, be now spending time and time and time on that. We cannot be on that forever. So something has got to give in someone one of the two parties has got to give in and it's look it looks like it is going to be man united that will give in into the demands of Bayern munich but get over and done with this once and, and for all we've seen united waste so much money on players we don't we didn't even need we've seen money wasted on players like mason mount who are not solving a single problem until again we eric and have proves to us what he was solving by paying 60 million quid for for for, for mason mount we still don't see uh, wh where the value for that money is. So we can afford to pay 50 million or whatever for a Mathis delete who we are desperately in need of because that's the center back we have zeroed down on. My name is Webb. This is the United Out Sport. It's the summer that I think is, be is beginning to look uh, tight, but at least after a very good start we had, I'm, I've not lost hope. I think a deal or a double deal will be sealed this week Perhaps Ugate will come at the end of the week or early next week. But these two weeks are going to be critical for Man United and the summer transfer window. My name is Webb. Let's wait for deal number two that is about to go in. And I will be here to give it to you probably as a breaking update when it is put in. And uh, that's why I request you to turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss it when it comes. Peace.